tests is the aperture, uh, aperture which is oh, the F number. It's yes. <laughs> it's it's whatever F number it is. Okay. Wow, that sounds bad. <laughs> that sounds really <laughs> no, bad. I <laughs> Hey everyone, welcome back to episode number two of Behind the Lens. Uh, my name's Ben and this is... I'm Donnie. And we are here to share with you the knowledge that we have on cameras, lenses, you name it. We're going to talk about it. But today's episode is about... You know what it's about. I mean, you watched the last episode. And, and you also... And we told the, you in the, the last the, episode. And, and the, the thumbnail type, and, and the, the title type, yeah, and everything title. tells you what this is but about. But it's about lenses. Obviously. So <laughs> we are excited to talk about that. Um, we think it's probably... I think it's the most fun because I like... I have a lot of different lenses. So I like lenses. I know he does as well. So we're going to start off uh, to talk about you know the mom and pop uh camcorder yes. because there's so much to talk about lenses with this one there's just so many to talk about right so as a reminder <laughs> from last week's episode can we try to take that off just, no it's not coming yeah. off okay <laughs> you know i'm stronger right yeah that's true i pulled out a trunk oh we gotta bring that up again it's Ooh, fine yeah it's fine missionary work uh so i did it for the glory of god he did so we're going back to the camcorders <laughs> yes about the lenses so, camcorders these do not have a removable lens yeah so you cannot just like oh i have a lens i have a camcorder <laughs> No, this is not. I mean, duct tape it, but it wouldn't do I, much. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I used duct tape on lenses before, so yeah. which is <laughs> As useful. You can tell. <laughs> I'll talk about it later. Uh, so yes, the camcorders you cannot just put on any lens you yeah. have. Uh, in most cases, they come with like a thirty-five millimeter lens, uh, or like there's the the main setting or like a sixteen. I don't know. Some do come with a wide angle. Some with like the standard. Uh, view. So when you talk about 35 millimeter, why don't we just kind of start with that before yes. we get into too much detail? Because that way, yeah. when they're hearing us talk about millimeters, they're going, yeah. what, what so does that mean? These out of the picture. Okay, these are we're not playing Goodbye. when we're talking about yep. lenses. So the the camera lenses have, well, in two main uh, specifications. Yep. One of them is the focal length. The other one is the aperture. And then there are some smaller details like yeah. uh, image stabilization, mount, uh, manual stuff like yeah, yeah, manual. But the two main ones are the focal length uh, that we're we're gonna start with, and the other one is aperture that yep. is coming after that. Yep. So when we're talking about focal length, there are two kinds of lenses. First one is the prime lens. Yep. And the other one is the non-prime lens, prime which lens. is called. Does it have a special name? It's. Uh, or variable lens, lens? Vari I don't know something like that it's you a probably, non prime it, you probably okay. know and we just don't so what is the difference between prime lens and non prime lenses this is a 35 millimeter lens which means that it's a prime lens because this do not have an adjustable focal length yeah so this is set at 35 millimeter you cannot zoom in you cannot zoom out what you 35 millimeters just how how wide the the picture is through the lens yes so it's it's the idea of like when you're looking through it, so this this right here, this just for example, so his is a 35, this right here is a is a 50. Yes. Uh, so it's gonna have a more zoomed in kind of look to it. Yep. Whereas that is not gonna be as zoomed in, which we'll get into yep. detail as well. So, and this one, this is under under lens. This is a non prime lens because this is a zoom in lens. So it starts from 18 millimeters and goes up all the way to 140. So you can see how. Is zooming in mm -hmm. uh 18 millimeter is a wide angle 140 is a telephoto uh there are many other categories and we're shooting on a 16 yeah for them to there are many categories for focal length uh for example i think 14 millimeter is considered the ultra wide uh 18 20 is like yeah. an, uh, a wide angle yeah. 35 millimeter would be a standard uh 50 would be a portrait lens i think or maybe that's yeah. 85 i don't know and then like 135 it, from 135 135 it's a telephoto and from up to 200 millimeters it's an ultra telephoto or super telephoto something like that so you can go 
all the way up. Yeah. Uh, so if you want to... If you want to be like a sports photographer, like on an NFL sideline, when you see those super, yes. super long lenses... Those are usually around 135, yeah. 200, 240 millimeters, uh, because obviously you cannot get physically close to the to That'd that be cool, object. Though. That would be cool. Uh, so you have to take pictures from a distance to something that is far away, so you have to zoom in more. Yeah. Obviously. But, yeah, what if I would take a picture of you? Yeah. I would use, from here, maybe a 35 millimeter, yeah. so I have... Your whole face in the frame. It's a I'm big not head. So. Punching into the eyes, which obviously. Uh, so yeah, there. All you can buy uh, lenses with all kinds of and, focal. And lenses. I think uh, another uh, another key point I think I I want to put on is something that maybe you're not as stingy on. I'm more stingy on. Uh, is also before you out and go out before you go out and buy a. Any type of lens, whether that's a, a prime lens, whether that's a variable zoom lens, whatever it zoom is. Zoom lens, yeah, that's in the name. See, that's what Man. I'm here for. Um, but before you do that, make sure you look at the manufacturer and you you learn those details. And what we mean by that is, like, I shoot on a Canon, and I prefer to get a Canon lens. But there are other alternatives that are, like, right now, I'm not even shooting on a Canon lens. It's I'm a shooting Sigma on lens. A Sigma. So... There's certain brands that uh, you can shoot on that aren't like a very junky brand, and we're not trying to throw people under the bus. But there's just brands that yeah. that are reliable. Uh, I know he one, shoots on a separate one. Yeah. One good example for that is the difference between this and this. Uh, not because of the fo obviously it has a different focal length, it has different aperture, but we're not there yet. But when it comes to quality, uh, this is the official Nikon. AFS Nikon uh, 18140, <laughs> whatever. It's the official Nikon yeah. uh, lens that comes with the camera. Kid and this, lens. yeah, it's a kit lens. And and it has a good quality glass in it. Uh, the reason why that's important is because you remember last week we talked about how cameras work and, and how the light has to go through the lens before it gets into the camera's mirror and then you know yep, through everything. when you're taking pictures the yeah. image sensor basically when you think about real life not just cameras but in real life if you have a poor quality glass you're not going to see through as clearly as when you have a really high end really crystal clear glass kind of like you're driving a car <laughs> yeah so this one the 35 millimeter lens uh, this has and and uh, this is this is a young no lens. Young no lens. I don't know who makes this, uh, but the thing is, this has a, a poor quality uh, glass yeah. in it. So the light that goes through the lens and gets into the camera is not going to be as clear as when you have this a brand, lens, for a branded. And you know, and yeah. this is a, a tiny little difference. Obviously, it's not really that obvious. Uh, I mean, no, sorry. This is more obvious than yes. when you look at the lenses that cost like $2,500. Yeah. Because when you think of like for that one, that's a 50 millimeter, yep. right? 50 millimeter. So you can, when it comes to Canon 50 millimeter lenses, there's you three can different buy, types. <laughs> you can buy one for. This is a $100 one, right? $100. Here. You can buy one for even less, I think, which is. No, like, this is the cheapest one. This is the cheapest one. Right now, okay. in the US, it's $100. So you can buy. Still quality. That, you can buy one for $200. And then there's the $1,000 one. The $1,000 and then $2,500, yep. which is a cinema lens, but. That's besides. Obviously, that's a whole different category. Uh, but the main difference between these four yeah. is, first of all, the build quality. So this one is plastic. The more uh, expensive one have more metal yeah. in it. They feel more sturdy and, and they feel better in the hand. They have a better grip, uh, so on and so forth. And the other big difference between the, the four of them is the glass quality. Yeah. So this one has the poorest quality of the four. And when it comes to a $2,500 lens, that has a really high quality glass in it, which yeah. is going to allow the, the light to go through more clearly. Yep. Yeah. Uh, it's, so, so it's going to be a better, it's going to be more expensive, but yeah. you're going to get better quality. And that's the same thing. So like with this, technically this is not a mirrorless lens. So I technically have an adapter on here. So technically the lens is really only that much. Um, I have an adapter on because that's the only way I can put it on to my camera. But what I will say about, about you know, especially because I, I shoot with Canon, Canon does a great job of, they have different um, levels of where, of what you can buy. So 
for instance, uh, most of my lenses, other than the one I'm shooting on right now, they are more of the lower tier. Yeah, um, yeah. Because I felt at the time when I bought them, I wasn't ready to go out and buy a professional lens because yeah. there are different tiers of lenses. So with Nikon, with uh, with Sony, with, with Canon, there's different tiers. And so there's the beginner tier, there's the kit lens, which is also right here. Um, which is the kit lens, which fifteen is, forty five. Yeah, and it's not it's not the greatest in the world, but it gets the job done. Yeah. Um, but the reason why I say that is because no matter what uh, camera you shoot, whether you shoot a Nikon, whether you shoot a Sony, where you shoot Lumix, whether you shoot uh, Canon, there's different tiers, and it's, I love that's what I love about the brand names is because they have those different tiers to say, okay, are you ready for the professional? Are you ready to be mid tier? Are you ready to be low tier? Um, and I personally would recommend don't go out and buy a $2,500 lens if you have never ever picked up a camera I'm just going to be honest unless you're a natural you can go and buy you can one go buy and, one and give it to us yeah I mean you can tell us <laughs> you could donate it um, but the reason why I say that is because one it, it, more expensive lenses come with taking better care of them and there's yeah. things that you don't realize you need to do and also just the the differences um, whereas you get one of these lower ones you know for this 100 bucks um, the Sigma one was another $100. Um, but I always say the Sigma lens has actually surprised me with how good of quality it is. Uh, you can actually tell me because you're watching. But I think Daniel and I can both agree that um, the, the, I guess, better quality of glass you have in your lens, the better quality you're going to be able to get with your camera. You could have a very basic camera, but if you have good quality glass, it's going to make that picture or that video that much better quality. Yeah, yeah, pretty yeah. much. And so that's that's kind of like where we wanted to start is... And it's might, it might not be something that you like, you look at the two one and like, oh, wow, there's such a huge difference. But when it comes to like the tiny little details, yeah. especially when you're working professionally and you want it to be as good as possible, yeah, you want it to be professional, it's, it, you're going to see the difference between the two. Yeah, and so, like I said, there's the different, we just talked about the different, you know, you know, the 50 millimeter, the, the 18 to 20 or whatever. Um, I personally, this is, uh, I think we'll each add our own here. I personally like to shoot on uh, the 16, which is what I shoot on. Um, some might disagree with me. I, I enjoy, yeah, I know he does. Uh, I enjoy it because for me, uh, sometimes I do a lot of uh, kind of vlogging style shots, which is perfect for that kind of where as long as my arm is and it's kind of good. Um, that's the main one I use. I rarely use the kit lens anymore. Um, I use the 50 quite a bit, but that's pr this is probably my go-to lens uh, that I have here with me in Hungary. I have one back home, but that's my go-to. I know he disagrees because yeah. we talk about it all the time, but what is your go-to? My, my, pref my preferred lens or focal length is a 50 millimeter. I knew he was going to uh, say this Yeah, one. that one. He likes these. I I like Mine's a little 50 wrong, millimeters so yeah. for, for portraits, for anything like that. Uh, I don't know. I just... I personally don't like the really wide angle yeah. uh, videos, pictures maybe, but videos not as much. Yeah, and I think the one thing that is, that's what I think it's kind of cool, and I think they get to see that too, is like you can have your district's opinion. You know, like we, like I said on the podcast, you know, a couple of weeks ago was I said the cool thing about uh, photography and videography is that it's an art. And it's yeah. how you see it. You know, not every artist paints the same way. Not every photographer takes a picture the same way. But if you yeah. can get the good quality or the quality that you want to see, then that's all that matters, I, mean, I think, in the long run. His, your dad is using a Nikon, and I am pro Canon. <laughs> I prefer Canon, uh, but I still love him. I yeah. still love him to death. Yeah, if you're so, watching, hi. We love you, dad. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, and so I think that is that is where we kind of want to start because once you figure out the millimeters and when you get that because trust me when i first started getting cameras i was like what is 50 millimeter mean what is 25 i i'm not going to be kidding you actually i actually measured uh my ca my camera lens because i didn't actually know what that totally meant see i'm just being honest with you all like that's what i did because that happens. That happens. i didn't understand what it meant but when you figure that out it then moves into i think which is the most i think it's one of the most important things about a lens is the aperture uh, aperture which is oh the F number. It's, it's yes. It's it's whatever F number it is. Okay. Wow, that sounds bad. <laughs> that sounds really <laughs> no, bad. I it. <laughs> but I'm hungry. I'm not American, so I, oh, I don't know. see, he has excuses. I Anyways, so, so what is aperture? The F number is really important. It is the so 
The app number is kind of confusing because it's when super you, confusing. When you go to your camera, which I'm gonna do right now, and you're gonna see it yes. on the screen right now, my camera is at f2, which means that the aperture is small because it's the like, whole it's like through which, the whole through which the light yeah. goes through is big. It's super confusing. I, I still don't understand it quite, quite, but I just know that w- <laughs> I, did, I just always tell people this way to make it simple. The smaller the number, so F1.4, like right now I'm shooting on F1.4, I think that's what it is. F1.4, that means there's letting a lot of light in. But if it's yeah. a bigger number, let's say F16 or F15, that means there's less light. So if you're outside, and it's really bright outside, you don't want to have f.1.4 because that's going to let up so much light, you're not going to be able to see anything yeah. on your screen but or through the camera. So the higher the number, the less light, the lower the number, more light. Yeah. The, the, reason, the reason why there's this confusion is because when you look at the number, f2 is actually f1 divided by 2. Yeah. And the, the bigger the number is under 2 that you're uh, the one is divided by, the wait the bigger the number is that it, you divide one by the smaller no wait what so basically yeah, the smaller yes. the number is yeah oh so man. yeah english so, is confusing man it is confusing, it's simple, uh, but confusing. i still don't understand it um but no yeah <laughs> it's 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 a very confusing thing but i think it's very important when you're learning how to do video or you're learning how to do photos it's very important to you know have that uh, ability to uh, you know adjust your yeah. aperture or whatever it's seeing. So aperture is really that's an important part. Uh, it doesn't yeah. take too much to talk about. So yeah, yeah, it the, yeah the only two things that it uh, this is, is it's important for for your everyday camera use is yes the the light that it allows th- uh, to go through the lens, which yeah as you said, the bigger the hole, the more light is gonna come in, the brighter is gonna be, and the other one is depth of field. Yeah. Uh, so when you think about depth of field, uh, whew, how to describe that? I always say depth of field is this. I'll, I'll know, help you describe I, it. I think I should have prepared for it. Yes. I will, I will <laughs> describe this. So depth of field. So when you, when you're viewing something and I know like specifically on the, on the 50 or the 16, like I am, sometimes you see a little blurry. And actually when you're watching this, you might see a little bit blurry in the, in the front here. Um, or in the back, depending on how close your subject is. So if you're closer to the camera, then if if the aperture is lower, so let's say it's 1.4, just for example. If I'm closer to the camera, behind me is going to be a little more blurred. It's going to have like this cool, like kind of like, oh, I'm in front of everything. Yeah, Look. it's called bokeh. <laughs> yes. That's uh, the official name for it. So, but if, if you have the aperture really high, it's harder to find that depth of field. So if it's f... 12 it's yeah. gonna be hard to find that that depth of field and and they have different use for they, they have they have different settings for different use so for example if i would take a portrait photo of you yeah uh for example sorry i would use an f the lowest possible setting pretty much so right with this i would use an f2 with that i would use an f 1.4 because i want you to be in focus yep. and i want everything else to be blurred out yeah but when I take a, a landscape photograph, when I take landscape photography, and it, I take a picture of a canyon uh, with mountains all around and trees and birds and like all that, I would want to crank up the the average aperture for like 14, 16, even. Yeah. Uh, or when it comes to like taking pictures of stars, even, uh, because there's a bigger range uh, of distance that needs to be in focus or camp. When we take a group picture, yeah, you know there are people that are, uh, I don't know, five six meters from the camera yeah. or twenty feet, whatever. whatever. Uh, and there are some people that are twice as far from the camera. And you don't want all the kids in the front row to be in focus. You want all the kids as much as possible to be in the focus. Yeah. So you crank up the aperture for ten, twelve, sixteen, whichever I don't know. Uh, it also depends on the lighting as well. Obviously, you don't want to have a super dark image just so that everyone can be in focus uh, because that's not going to help too much. <laughs> but yeah, so there are different uses for different F numbers uh, depending on all that. Yeah, and so that's that's kind of the basics of lenses. It's not... 
we, there's not much else to to really add unless you could think of anything. Um, there's one more thing that is important, I think, which is the mount. Yes. Uh, so when I th when for example, if I would want to buy a lens for this camera, this has a Nikon F mount. Yep. Uh, right. Yeah. Yes. Your camera, it's has a Canon an M camera. mount. That's an M. Yeah, EFM. EFM because yeah. it's a mirrorless, so EF. Because okay. an EF, so this, so just to help you out, so this right here, the the fifty is for an EF mount, but I need the adapter to make it an EFM mount. Yeah. So I needed this to, or I should say EOS M mount is really proper term. So basically, it's taking it from what a a DSLR to a mirrorless. So anytime you're looking for a lens, make sure that you have yeah. what your camera is, what the mount is, because if you don't. You're gonna be out of a yeah, lot of money. Yeah, you're not gonna be able to put the lens <laughs> on the camera. You're gonna be so. doing. It's like me trying to like. It just it won't it won't go yeah, on. Yeah. So yeah, and that's. I mean that's the basic, uh, side of things. Um, nothing too crazy. What else do you? I can see you have. Yeah. Sl slightly. I, one I more brought thing. something, uh, for this episode. And if um, we randomly run out of battery, because I can tell we're kind of low, I'm gonna randomly jump into another battery, and you're gonna be cut to later. But we're fine right now. Where it might be a B-roll. Who knows what will happen during this moment, but we'll so, see. This is also a lens. Yep. But it's not really a lens. <laughs> yes. So basically what this is, is two pieces of glass. Hey there, doc. <laughs> you look like a doctor when you look through it. That's why I said that. So you can see me bigger. I can see you smaller. So basically what this is, is like, I use it as an adapter. Uh, and you'll see a close-up of this as well. Uh, but basically what I do uh, is that I can just screw it on the end of the lens. And this is going to give a two times zoom. telephoto or yeah. two times zoom. So if I, if I take a picture with this... Oh, wow, you're dark. Wait, I will focus. Yeah, so this is with this thing and without it uh, ba -ba. yes so this is one of it and I have another one which is a 0.5 times zoom so it's gonna make it, it make me look better wider looking, really basically uh, man, I always have problems screwing this on because it, this is not in one this is two pieces because it also has a macro adapter of course it does. Uh, so as yeah. we're as we're waiting, who knows what's happening ah, in your nice. life? Yeah, I hope I things are going well. Okay, good. I got it. Yeah. So these are the three results. You can just edit out the, the process, yes, yes, uh, goofing around. But yeah. So what you'll this see does, you'll see the three results. I'll put them on the screen yeah. so you can see the three. So results. what this does is basically uh, it either zooms out a little bit or zooms in. A little bit which you can just put on the end of your lens if it's the same uh, diameter of, yeah. of the the lens yep which in this case is 58 millimeters but also have I also have this part which is just a macro adapter and basically if you don't know what macro pictures are they're like super close-up pictures of yes anything so if I want to take a macro picture of your eyes. Okay. There we go. Woo. So you would have totally not seen what his struggle right there. But yeah, yeah, this is what it was. So this is the picture, I'll put it up here as well, of what it looks like of a yeah. micro, of my eyeball. So even if you have uh, just one lens, you can still you know, have fun with it and, and get yeah. these adapters, which are yeah, and not really expensive at all. And, and you can just goof around with yeah it. and so that's 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 the basic of lenses so we talked last week about the basic cameras we had the lenses this week we combined those two so yeah this is what you get this is this is kind of the full thing uh next week what are we gonna talk about next week what are we gonna add in next week uh next week is gonna be camera settings yes which is gonna be so more gonna, more or less stay. of seeing us probably more of seeing a camera yeah. which will help you as well so we're gonna stick with the camera well, this body first. Yes. Uh, we're going to go through that in just really basic yep. details. And then we're going to go 
over to yes. all the other accessories and stuff. Exactly. Uh, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. You if you have any questions or suggestions, we don't really script out these no. me, uh, these conversations. We don't have enough time videos. to script out those. Yeah. So, and we well, actually you can you can tell that we are not really following any order no like we start with one thing and then we go somewhere else and then if you would like... rather us go into a specific order yeah let us know because that helps us get our show better and it lets yeah. us have a more and this way. this also allows obviously for things to be left out yes like we could just forget about something so if we forgot about something and we you're like it. man they didn't talk about this or this or this just let us know yeah and we can include that in the next video or we can make a separate yeah, episode and there's there's that. there's times where we might add a, a a second episode or a second video a week where it might be more of just like a, a two minute quick tutorial on something, yeah, yeah. Um, which I think we might end up doing. We've talked about doing. So with that, I just want to say uh, thank you for tuning in to hearing us talk about lenses today. Uh, we talked about cameras last week, so again next week we're going to talk about settings and how to use your camera properly. Um, but most importantly. Uh, just thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, we appreciate the support. Again, below, go ahead and drop uh, those questions, those comments, uh, and make sure you uh, like the video, right? Like the video, subscribe, hit that little bell. Boo! Uh, so that way you can stay tuned to every Wednesday when we have a new episode coming out. Uh, and yeah, we're really encouraged. We love doing this. Uh, we love sharing what we love with yeah, you guys. Yeah. Uh, and I just want to remind you that God is faithful and that you can trust him. And as always, we'll talk next time.